3 News Now Web Extra. All right, everybody. So my name is Dr. Laura Kleinschmidt. Um, so I'm one of five clinical veterinarians here that takes care of all of the animals at the zoo. And obviously the elephants are a very important part of our zoo family. So we all take care of them. Um, so we're here to talk about Claire today and her pregnancy and how things are going along. Uh, so she is between 11 and 15 years old, and this is a first time pregnancy for her. Um, we're about 16 months into a 22 month long pregnancy. So that's quite a long pregnancy, uh, over double what a human pregnancy is. Um, so to monitor them, one of the big things that we do is ultrasounds. And so that's what we'd like to show you today on how, how we go about ultrasounding an elephant. Uh, so if you take a look down here, um, ultrasounds can be pretty tricky in elephants because they have very thick skin. It's uh, one to two inches thick. And so we have to try to look through that. Um, they also have little wiry uh, fur or hair um, over their body um, and lots of folds in their skin. And then also, uh, as you can imagine, they love to wallow in the mud and they like to get dirty. And that's really great for their skin health. Um, and also to deter insects, but it makes it a little difficult to get our ultrasound probe on there. Uh, so one of the first steps the keepers will do is to clean off uh, the belly and try to get some of that dirt out of the way. And then um, we use lots of ultrasound gel. So you'll see uh, Dr. Sarah is doing the ultrasound now. And so she takes the probe and puts gel on it and uh, puts a bit of pressure on the abdomen to be able to try to, to image uh, the, the baby in the uterus. Uh, so. Um, the, the ultrasounds are, are done about monthly at this point, and then as we get a little bit closer to uh, the due date, they may go about every other week. So that's actually a bit more frequent uh, than a typical uh, woman would have during her pregnancy. Uh, so we like to keep a close eye on things. Um, our ultrasound probe only goes about a foot into the body. So that's the other uh, big challenge with our ultrasound is that the elephants are quite large. And so until that baby gets uh, down along the bottom of the body wall, and is resting there pretty consistently, it is uh, harder to, to see or to catch on video sometimes, or sometimes you'll find it on the left side, sometimes you'll find it on the right side. So it just depends. Um, so we also, at the very beginning of the pregnancy, we'll use transrectal ultrasound. And at that point, at about two months, you can see the limbs of the baby forming. Um, and then about three months is when you'll start to see like the trunk and then also a heartbeat. I'm going to ask these two, and this is Becca Wyatt, and she's the lead elephant keeper here at the barn. And she knows a lot about the individual elephants, what they like, what they don't like, how well they train, all the day-to-day -day kind of husbandry stuff that uh, people are, might be interested in. Becca knows all of this stuff. Uh, and so I've got a few questions prepared that I'm going to ask them. They're kind of corny, kind of silly, and we're trying to make some human elephant comparisons. So my first one goes to Becca. So humans sometimes have food cravings, whether it's pickles and ice cream or sugars or sweets or any change in diet with the elephant? Um, no change in diet. Now, while Claire is ecstatic to get fruits at any point in time, um, we've kept it a healthy, balanced diet. So she's still getting brows and hay and then all of her training produce, um, sweet potatoes, apples, carrots. Does she so. prefer one thing over the other that she didn't prefer before? Nope, she's just happy to eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, some people have trouble sleeping, especially in the late trimester. They're having trouble sleeping on their back, their side. They're just uncomfortable and they don't get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Has her sleeping preferences changed? Where does she sleep and has that changed? Yes, actually. That's what's been great about our cameras. Um, so she is getting up and down a lot more at night. Um, we've also seen her, we have these wonderful stand mounds that she used to lay on, and now she's choosing just to be flat. So anywhere in the herd room where she can just lay flat, that's where she's choosing to lay. So I call these sort of sand pillows yes. that they put their heads yep. on, but she's not using them as much anymore. No, nope. okay. just trying to sprawl out. <laughs> so a little bit the same that way. Yeah. She's a little uncomfortable and moves around a lot more a and up and down, and okay. And then finally, um, Doctors often prescribe a lot of exercise for women who are pregnant. Do we do the same thing? Does she get more exercise or has she been getting it all along? I would say getting it all along. Okay. So we work really hard to spread out their food. Um, they have resources way at the far end of the habitat and then overnight um, our hoist will drop. So she's walking back and forth constantly and she's still playing with our little ones. So she's still sparring and swimming with Lolly and Oma. 
Now I know we do body scoring to make sure they stay in shape. How does she score out? Right now I'd say she's about a three and a half. Out of, <laughs> out of five. Out of five. <laughs> out of five. So she's, she's fuller. Yes. Can you tell she's pregnant? Yes. How do you, how, tell um, us what, to, what you look she's for. She's a little wider, but the most significant change is the mammary development. Okay. Um, that's pretty noticeable okay. when you see her walking around. All right. Yeah. So she's getting ready. I think so. Yeah, to have a calf. Say, Becca, do you want to talk about the training? Sure. Um, we've done quite a bit to just gain access to anything the vets might need to care for her prenatally and after. So um, we did train the ultrasound from the ground up. So accepting the water on her side, accepting new people to approach and put a machine on her. That's all stuff we had to work on. We're also working on access to her mammary and using a breast pump in case we need to um, save milk for some reason. So she's gotten skilled at putting her leg up. We can get access to her mammaries. Um, and sort of work with her that way. We also do blood pressure, oral temperatures, anything that a mom might need to do when they go to the vet or the doctor. We we try to do for these guys. Yeah, and I would say Claire is really doing great. Uh, the pregnancy is progressing very well. She's very healthy. She's at a healthy weight. Um, really, it's great that these guys have provided a balanced diet and lots of exercise, and so she's doing very well.